Welcome to the ultimate guide for blazing fast storage solutions. In today's video, we're diving into the top contenders for the title of the best M2 NVM SSD of 2024. Whether you're a content creator needing lightning speed transfers or a hardcore gamer seeking unparalleled performance, we've got you covered. Join us as we unravel the latest advancements, benchmarks, and real-world tests to help you make the right choice for your rig. Don't blink, because the future of storage starts right here, right now. Ready to discover the best M2, NVMe SSD of 2024? Let's begin. Number 5. SK Hynix Platinum P4 SK Hynix is the world's second-largest memory chip manufacturer, after Samsung. It is however only recently that the company has started to sell consumer products under its brand name. This should not be taken lightly by the competition, as the Platinum P41 is one of the best M2 SSDs to date. Released in May 2022, the SK Hynix Platinum P41 is an entirely in-house design based on the manufacturer's own 176-layer TLC NAND chips and uses a proprietary controller dubbed Ares. It also includes an SK Hynix LPDR4 DRAM cache. Sequential performance is up to 7,000 6,500 MB per S, read-write, and random performance is up to 1. 4M slash 1. 3M IOPs. More importantly, it performs exceptionally well in real-world oriented benchmarks, such as 3 Mark and PCM10. The only downside is that the Platinum P41 so far has been limited availability, as it's still hard to find in the US and Europe. Number 4. Crucial T500. Best SSD for gaming you can buy in 2024. A somewhat surprising addition to the list of top performers is the Fissin E25 based as the new, as of November 2023, Crucial T500. What makes it an unlikely leader is that the E25 controller only has four NAND channels, compared to the eight more commonly found in high-end SSDs. The magic ingredient appears to be its 232-layer NAND from Micron, which can propel this drive to the top of several benchmark charts versus other Gen 4 drives. We have recently observed the same trend even in DRAMless SSDs like the impressive Team Group MP44. But the Crucial T500 does employ an LPDDR4 DRAM buffer that gives it an edge in many workloads. Number 3. Samsung 990 Pro Samsung was an undisputed leader in the SSD space for years, but more recently, the Korean electronics giant has often been unable to stay ahead of the competition. The 990 Pro is a return to form, with Samsung now retaking the lead in many key benchmarks that reflect real-world use. This is perhaps not readily apparent when just looking at the sequential transfer rates, where the Samsung 990 Pro, much like the competition, basically maxes out the PCIe Gen 4 bandwidth. It does excel in the random performance area, however, at up to 1. 4M slash 1. 55M IOPS read-write. The drive uses Samsung's proprietary Pascal controller, 176-layer Nandi, and an LPDDR4 DRAM cache to achieve these numbers. Warranty and endurance ratings remain the same as the 980 Pro predecessor, at 5 years or 600 TBW, 1 terabyte. 1,200 TBW, 2 terabytes. Unfortunately, the Samsung 990 Pro is not just one of the fastest SSDs on the market, but also among the more expensive. Samsung's 990 EVO is newer and technically Gen 5 capable, but also much slower than the 990 Pro. In my opinion, this SSD is perfect for PlayStation 5. Number 2. Seagate Fire Cuda 540 is the best M2 NVMe SSD in 2024. The Seagate Fire Cuda 540 is another recent addition to the Gen 5 space, and it uses the same E26 controller as all of its current competitors. It is also equipped with the same 232-layer TLC NAND as all but the Crucial T700, meaning that it runs at 1,600 MTS. As a result, the 2TB model tops out at 10,000 MB per S sequential read-write speeds, while the 1TB capacity is a bit slower at 9,500 MB per S read and 8,500 MB per S write. What sets the Fire Cuda 540 apart from the competition is the Seagate firmware, and perhaps more importantly, a significantly higher endurance rating. The 2TB model is backed by a 2000 TBW terabytes written rating, and half of that for the 1TB Fire Cuda 540. Number 1. Crucial T700. Top picks in our list. 
Crucial's T700 is not the first or only SSD to use the Fissin E26 controller, but it currently outperforms the competition thanks to the latest and fastest NAND memory chips from Micron. Crucial is a Micron subsidiary. Other PCIe 5.0 SSDs, such as the Aorus Gen 510000 and Corsair MP700, all of which also use the Fizen E26, can reach sequential read speeds of around 10,000 MB per S. But the Crucial T700 goes all the way up to 12,400 MB per S. A downside of the earliest Gen 5 SSDs, however, is that they require efficient cooling to avoid overheating and throttling. If you don't have a decent heat spreader on your motherboard, it is probably a good idea to opt for a model with an included heatsink. Gen 5 SSDs can be expected to improve even further in terms of performance, efficiency, and not least pricing over the coming months and years. But for now, the Crucial T700 and its closest competitors are the fastest consumer storage devices you can get for your Gen 5-capable PC.